Oh man, look at this rickety old building. Look how terrible the paint looks. You know what it really needs? It needs a fresh coat of paint. Well, in this video, we're gonna go from beginning to end on exactly how to do an exterior painting project on a project that we're actually doing. So you're gonna be able to follow us step by step, see how we do it, and then how you could apply it to your own home or a project that you're working on. Let's get started. Starting the video, I want to tell you a little bit about who I am. My name is Zach Blingensop. I'm the owner of a company called Digital Roofing Innovations. I'm a licensed general contractor in over nine states. I'm also a U.S. military veteran. Now, while our channel is mainly about roofing, we're a general contracting company, and so we do a lot of exterior restoration outside of just roofing. On this project, I wanted to show you guys whether you're a homeowner or you're a contractor out there trying to either get into painting or you have some exterior restoration jobs that require some painting on how to properly do your project and how to do it correctly and safely. All right, so last little bit and I'll shut up and we actually can start looking at the actual project. But I wanna tell you about the few things that we're gonna be doing as we get started. The first thing that you wanna do on any project is you wanna make sure you go ahead and prep the site and get it ready for your construction. This is important, that way you don't have to do a lot of cleanup afterwards and you're also following all the building codes that's required to properly do an exterior paint job. Next thing we're gonna do, we're talking about scraping or pressure washing to get all the old paint removed. The next thing we're gonna talk about is prepping the surface on applying the new paint because you have to make sure that the surface is prepped correctly before you can apply the new paint or it just simply isn't gonna go well. And lastly, we're gonna talk about painting the actual building or house, whichever one you're working on, and the things that you need to do to finish up the job. All right, so let's go Take a look at what's going on in the project. All right, so the, what I talked about earlier, the first thing we need to do is make sure we prep the job site. We want to make sure that we have everything we need to keep everything clean, and we're not having to do a lot of work after the project's done. So as you can see on this particular project, we have already got down the tarps. We've got a tape against the building. So if you see, as the guys are scraping right now, it's coming right off and going onto the tarping. So this is going to prevent a lot of cleanup after the project's over. Also, you make sure you have to follow local building codes, whether you're doing this at your house or you're a contractor doing this. You want to make sure that you have everything prepped just like you would an interior painting job. So this is most important. Then you want to, want to make sure you have the right equipment. You want to make sure that you have all different types of scrapers to be able to get the paint off. And then, of course, you want to make sure that you have your ladders. Okay. Make sure you're following proper ladder safety. We've done a lot of videos on ladder safety, whether you're using a step ladder or you need to use an extension ladder to get all the way up here on a project like this. All right, so all painting projects, particularly exterior painting projects that are done on buildings past 1978 that had, had original paint, you wanna make sure that you are scraping the paint. You cannot use a pressure washer. That's against EPA regulations because most likely that paint has lead in it. And if it has lead in it, it can't be seeping into the ground. So you have to hand scrape like this project versus using a pressure washer. Okay, so now that we scraped all the paint off, now we gotta go ahead and prime. Now, whether you decided to pressure wash if the building was newer than 1978, again, because you don't wanna make sure you have lead paint that you're getting all on the ground, it's a big no-no with the EPA and you will get fined for it. So for instance, we did, on this one, we decided to hand scrape it off because this building's older than 1978. But regardless, all your paint's off, now you need to prime each project. You wanna make sure once you have all your paint scraped off or pressure washed off, that you apply primer. That's gonna allow your exterior paint to stick a lot better and it's gonna keep it from peeling in the future. Let's go ahead and take a look what that looks like. There's obviously two main methods to be able to put on your primer or put on your exterior. So you can either use a brush or you use a sprayer. Obviously with the brush, you can be a little bit more careful you're gonna to wanna to use your brush anytime you're going around any of the edges, places where you're worried about overspray, which we'll talk about a little bit with the spray gun. And it's just overall 
uh, more accurate and you have less fat. Of course, the negatives is, well, it takes longer. Well, it's also kind of a pain in the butt clean your paintbrush all the time and stuff like that. So most painters use a combination of both, both the sprayer and they go ahead and use their paintbrush. As you can see in like places like this, this would be an area you would obviously want to make sure that you're using your brush or you tape all this off or provide some type of, uh, would it be cardboard or some piece of wood that you can use your sprayer and keep that, that section from being over sprayed. And now we're gonna to move to our final step, actually painting the exterior of the building. Wow, this building sure looks a heck of a lot better, doesn't it? Well, we had a you know, lot of challenges to overcome in this video because of the weather. It's starting to get into November in New Hampshire, and we're in northern New Hampshire at that. So we just had some challenges trying to make sure that we were following manufacturer's recommendations with our supplies putting on the exterior paint. So just to summarize in this video, we talked about prepping the job site, getting it ready to, to go. We talked about scraping or pressure washing the paint off the house. Next, priming the house or building, and then of course, finally putting on your paint at the end and the different ways that you can do that. Well guys, we still are finished with this project. We have other things we have to do. We have another video coming out about installing Atlas uh, Pinnacle Pristine shingles, and I'm actually doing a re review on the Pinnacle Pristine shingles from Atlas that we're gonna be installing on this project. But I wanted to get the painting done before we did the roofing. And then we got some interior stuff that we're doing as well for the forest service. But if you have any questions at all about the paintings or comments, please put them below. We always like to receive questions or comments from our viewers. And well, I guess that's it. At Digital Roofing Innovations, we believe in using a modern approach with traditional values. Have a great day.